Hi guys, it's me again. I'm Noelle. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, hi, I'm Noelle. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am an actress and I come on here sometimes and talk about being an actress. So if you're interested in being an actress or actor or like this, subscribe, ring the bell, do the YouTube things. I don't know how this platform works. Anyway, today we are back at it with a sequel, kind of. Today we are going to talk about my five least favorite stage costumes. P.S. Also, if you worked on any of these shows, this is all my opinion and it doesn't mean you did a bad job or anything like that. It just means that they were not my favorites. Anywho, let's go. Okay, so number five, this might technically be cheating a little because this costume I never wore on stage in performance, but in my high school production of The Games Afoot, I was given this dress, this purple dress to wear, and it was a crime. This dress did not fit me. It did not fit me in a way that was either flattering or functional. So like I could squeeze into it, but I felt very uncomfortable in it. I didn't look good. And on top of that, I was supposed to try to murder people in this play. I was supposed to try to murder my husband and my lover. And I could like barely walk and I'm trying to suck in my stomach and it was just terrible. It was this purple spandex dress with these shoulder pads in it. And it was just, it was just too tight. It was too tight for me. It didn't work. It didn't work for what we needed. And not to mention the show is set in the 19, 20s or 30s? I forget. It's been it's been a long time since high school. No, it doesn't look like it, but uh... And it wasn't totally really period accurate either. Like as far as I'm aware, spandex wasn't really the look back then. And so, um, but the, the woman doing costuming was like a parent volunteer and she was insisting I wear this dress. And I, I don't want to make a big deal out of things. I want to be as easy to work with as humanly possible. But I couldn't move in this. Aside from me being uncomfortable in it, I couldn't move easily. I had to wield a gun and smack somebody in the head with a statue and garrot somebody. And I, I just couldn't do that well in this dress. And not, not to mention that I felt like a cow. If you Google me and do a lot of stalking, you can find a picture of me in this. They took a photo for publicity in this dress and Oh, oh, I hate that it's out there. Maybe I'll put it here if I get brave enough. I didn't end up wearing it on stage. I talked to the director and I was like, look, I'm really uncomfortable in this dress. I, I don't want to cause problems, but it just, it doesn't fit me well. And I'm, it's hard for me to move. It's hard for me to do what I need to do in this show. It felt like a potato stuffed in a sock. And she got me a dress herself and I wore that instead. Number four of my least favorite costumes was when we did the Grover Cleveland story. Now, have you ever heard of the Grover Cleveland story? Probably not, because we made it up. It's a piece of devised theater about the life and legacy of our former president, Grover Cleveland, the only president to serve two non-consecutive terms. We did this at the Grover Cleveland birthplace in Caldwell, New Jersey, and I played baby Ruth Cleveland, and we did this production twice. And the first time we did it, my costume, it was not great. It was this long pink dress with these ruffles on it. And my hair was like super, super curled. And it, with one of those curling irons that like sucks your hair in and, and does the and then you release it. It's like this crazy spiral curl and they weren't like brushed out at all. And um, I just think this is a very awkward look. It's, there's nothing really wrong with it, I guess but I, it just doesn't look good on me and it, it didn't wow me. When we did the show the second time around, they had me in a different costume and that one I thought was much cuter. That dress was like the texture of curtains. So it, this, the, the second costume, it was better the second time around. Number three, least favorite. My number third, my number three, least favorite. Number three my college's production of Anonymous by Naomi Izuka. Now, this costume, um, there's a little, there's a little tea here. There's a little drama. So, this production, the costuming was running very behind. 
the majority of the cast ended up wearing their own clothing. I was one of those people um, in that the bathing suit top that I'm wearing is mine. The pink bikini top, that is mine. I own that. The rest of it was not. They initially, so my character is supposed to be in a bathing suit and another character makes a comment about her bathing suit and they say it's ugly. Um, and she's like, ah, how dare you? And anyway, they said initially that they were gonna get me a bathing suit top and it was gonna be like green because she's very jealous and you know, sim color symbolism, color theory. But I was like instantly in my head was like, she's totally a pink girl. Callista likes pink, Callista is pink, not green. But of course I didn't sing do this. Eventually the director calls me up and is like, hey Noel, um, so we don't have a bathing suit top for you. I know we said we were gonna, but we don't. Do you have anything that you'd be comfortable wearing that's maybe like a sports bra or a bathing suit top? I just, I don't want you to be too exposed, you know? I, I want it to be, you know, PG, you know, like pretty covered. And I was like, mm, Mrs. Director, do I have the bathing suit top for you? And it happened to be pink. They wanted to do just the bathing suit top because me standing there in a bikini in a little black box theater was probably gonna be a lot. Um, so they were like, maybe, you know, she just takes the top off in the transition and then she's got the bathing suit top and like the bottoms or whatever. But the bottoms for this costume, that's the part I don't like is the bottom. The bottoms were not really meant to be bottoms. They were actually purchased the year prior when we did Medea and Medea for Medea. And these were, these were leggings. These were meant to be like underskirt leggings. They're not, they weren't meant to be pants. They weren't even meant to be like legging pants. They were, they were specifically meant to go underneath the skirts that the ensemble wore. They were the thinnest material. That's why I say they were not meant to be pants. I'm a believer that leggings are pants if you, you know, if you wear the right leggings. But these, these were not pants. Um, They were so thin, so, 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 so thin. I had to wear very specific underwear to make this work. I'm not going to go into specifics of that. And then they gave me these boots to wear with it. And the boots were actually too big um, and just kind of didn't go with the rest. You know, they, the vibe they wanted was for me to be able to take off the top. And it's like, oh, she's at the beach now. But from the waist down, I'm dressed like, definitely not beach. Numero dos. This is, I guess, maybe a little misleading because I think it's an effective costume. I think it's very effective. This is from when I was in Alice in Wonderland and I played Tweedledum. Yes, yes I did. And the costume is nightmare fuel. But I think that works for the show. I think that works for Alice in Wonderland. I think it works for our particular production. That being said, it is hideous. It's hideous, right? I mean, look at that fabric combination. There's a, a hula hoop in the middle um, to give me that, that shape that they were going for. And you know, that's fine and itty. And I, I enjoyed wearing this costume. I had fun with it. I was like twerking backstage and in the hoop. And I got the little pinwheel hat. When next to Tweedledee, I was jealous because Tweedledee's costume was cute. But Tweedledum's the bigger part, so I was like... Also, Tweedledee's mom was the woman who made the costumes. So yeah, I think this one was really effective. Um, horrifying though. And the makeup is equally, if not maybe even more horrifying. They tried to make my eyebrows disappear, right? Oh God. They tried really hard. They had a professional makeup artist there and she tried and the director tried and I tried and my eyebrows would not be silenced. They would not. They were, by the end of the show, without fail, I just, I had eyebrows again. And I'm not even like sweaty. It's not like I sweat off all the makeup or something. I just, I have dark, thick boys on my face and we glued them down and we did all the drag queen things. They were still visible. 
We also took eyelashes, fake eyelashes, and glued them on like down here facing upside down so that way our eyes were like hee, 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 hee. And now for my number one least favorite stage costume, we have, drum roll please, or in this case again, a thigh roll. The Addams Family. The Addams Family musical. I played Grandma Adams in my high school's production of The Addams Family. Tweedledee's mom liked to give certain students worse costumes. And it wasn't personal. It was professional, I suppose. It was whoever got the part her daughter wanted got a bad costume. So in The Addams Family, it happened to be me. In Seussical, it was somebody else. In the Adams Family, it was me. And I didn't even want to be Grandma. I wanted to be Wednesday, okay? Because all the high school girls want to be Wednesday. And I have always viewed myself as like this kind of person. Um, but anyway, I ended up being Grandma because I'm the comedic relief. In the Broadway version, Grandma wears this crazy sweater that's like covered in trash. And she has this like crazy wig. And she's like totally decked out. In our version, I'm just wearing black. I just look like I'm wearing a trash bag, you know? Was I disappointed? Sure, because if you look at the grandma on the Broadway version or the tour version, she looks otherworldly in terms of her kookiness. And they just had me in like a long black skirt and a long black blouse. And I was like, anybody could wear this and it wouldn't be that weird. They also told me they were gonna get me this crazy wig. And I was really excited because I'd never worn a wig on stage before. And then as the show got closer, they were like, uh, hey, Noel. so your natural hair is kind of crazy. We think maybe we should just use that instead. Yeah, and we'll spray it gray. They also were spraying the ancestor's hair gray, which is the, the whole ensemble, which is pretty big. They never had enough gray. So by the time it got to me, there was like no gray left. So I was just like kind of gray in the front to do my hair for the show, I would literally just like, I'd make it as messy as I could and like mess up all the curls in the mirror. And then I'd form like this nest on top and I'd feed my microphone through it and I'd bobby pin it down. And then I'd try to spray it gray. Adam's family was a little bit of a disappointment in terms of the costuming. Um, so it's my least favorite. It wasn't as effective as the others, you know? I would in this show, I'd have loved to wear something ugly. This was just boring. This was just plain. The makeup for that was really intense. You have noticed in the pictures, it doesn't really look like I'm wearing much makeup like or anything crazy. And that's because we found out the hard way that I have an allergy to spirit gum. So the night these photos were taken uh, was the night I had the allergic reaction. So I had ended up taking all the makeup off. I was covered in hives and I just put like black around my eyes and I was like, that is all I can do. I, I cannot put anything else on my face. I'm covered in hives. This is how, I'm, this is what you're getting tonight. And of course that's the night they recorded, you know. Just my luck. When we were doing the, you know, the crazy makeup. It looked like I was decomposing. I looked more dead than like the ancestors did. My face had been getting like redder and redder throughout the week on my cheeks. This day, we were having a Sunday matinee performance and they did, they like to do little things for the kids to come see it. So they decided to have like a little spook house, they called it, it was a little haunted house and where you could meet the characters, meet the Adams family. And I was supposed to be in that and so, the director said, you're gonna be up close to people today. I wanna do your makeup myself. And I said, okay, cool. Cause I'm not good at makeup. And she starts doing my makeup and she like slathers it on and she s covers me in liquid latex. And like so much to the point that like, I can't move my mouth all the way. It starts burning. And my mother was there <laughs> backstage and she's like, you okay? Cause she can, she can read me like a book and she can see I'm, I'm not okay. And I'm like, no. Oh. I can't move my mouth. And she's like, what's the matter? And I was like, my face is burning really bad. She's like, oh my God, you have to take it off. And I was like, I can't. I have to go be in this book house. And she was like, no, you have to take it off. And I'm like crying. And I'm like, no, I have to go to this book house. Um, eventually they convinced me to take it off. And I, I don't think the allergy was the latex. I know that's a common allergen. 
but I haven't had any other allergic reactions to latex in any other form. Uh, you know, dentistry, hands in my mouth with gloves, all that. I've never had a problem with latex. I think it just was, it was just too much all at once and my skin, I had hives everywhere. I was like, ugh. So yeah, that concludes my five least favorite stage costumes. And least favorite, again, is relative. It could mean least effective. It could mean my personal preference, you know, all that. So this is all for fun here. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this rundown. If you liked it, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a bell, give me, give me a comment, leaving me some affection that I can ponder over and think back on whenever I get another rejection, and I will see you next time.